I'm gonna be showing how well Windows 11 runs below minimum hardware requirements. This machine displayed before you is a Dell Inspiron 530S small form factor computer. It is over 15 years old and it is missing every single Windows 11 requirement except for the, the storage one. Um, it has a Intel Pentium Duo Core processor, two gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, um, I actually put in a solid state drive in it, 120 gigabyte solid state drive, so that's actually made it run a lot faster. It's using integrated graphics and it does not have UEFI BIOS, it's running on legacy mode. Um, it has no TPM and it has no secure boot, so it's pretty much missing every single requirement, even the RAM one it's missing. Um, so, but I managed to install Windows 11 on it, so let's see how well it runs. As you can clearly see, it is loaded. Soon it will get into the desktop. All right, see, it's loaded relatively quickly. Here, going into our apps, we can see, if we go on to CPU-Z. There. So as you can see, some it is somewhat slow because, I mean, what do you expect with it? So here it is, CPU Intel Pentium E2 140. It's really old. It's using 65 nanometer technology. Um, enough of that. Now if you go to Winver, you can see we are running Windows 11 Home and I actually updated it to the most recent version of Windows 11. So that's about it. To show you, this shows how Windows 11 can actually run on things that are far below the minimum requirement. Now, I know Microsoft doesn't recommend this, but I don't really care. I just wanted to do this um, because this thing's perfectly capable of it. But I just wanted to show you that this machine is actually capable of running Windows 11. Thank you for watching and goodbye.